Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And, guys, we are going to be heading over to Moose Lake this time, primarily because I haven't been there a while, and one of my viewers has asked me to come back here and take a little bit of fishing in here. I think what I'm going to do, though, I am going to do a tournament, but I think I'm going to keep it nonspecific. That way we're... We can catch whatever we want to catch, but I'm going to try to focus on primarily whitefish because that's the biggest fish I ever caught in Moose Lake. And I think what we're going to do, let's see, why don't we just keep it as total weight. Let's just go with total weight and that'll make it more simple. I just prefer to do it in the morning, in the winter, and we'll go for the full 30 minutes here. Anyway, guys, there's a lot of different species here, and we're going to look at the depth here. There's a bunch of different places that it's good to fish, but what we're going to do is we're going to get in here and get this started. Obviously, so... Mm -hmm. We need to get a good spot. And I'm gonna run like a bat at all. Nope. That kind of always get my directions mixed up. I have a spot over here that I really like. It's right here. It's not in the main part of the lake. It's actually in this this part right over here. in the deep part. I've caught a lot of good white fish here. And let me see here. Let's go ahead and get drilled. It's nice and deep. Alright, I've got my autumn leaves going and I've got my Africa hook. This thing, I've caught whitefish, sturgeon, salmon, all kinds of good big fish on here. Let me make sure I have the right, yes, I want trout jam. So let's go ahead and throw that in. Now we are going to have to deal with it freezing, so got to be patient with that, guys. And this is my Technic rod. This is a more advanced heavy rod. The main thing about it is it reels in a little bit faster. So it gives us a bit of an advantage. Yeah, I used to use the heavy standard. That's that big yellow, ugly looking one. But this one, I got a little fancier. Alright, here's our first fish. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a perch. Well, you know, perch is a that's a decent sized perch, actually. Yeah, they the perch do go for this as well. I think it's in the good category, not the best. But let's do a side by side side to side motion here. Usually this spot's pretty there it goes. I was gonna say he's Usually I get hit after hit after hit here. I'm going to have to look at the map a little closer because it looks like I'm getting perched at this point. Alright, let me take a look at the map here. Oh, dang on, no wonder. I'm a little bit too far. Shoot. Okay. Let's pull up stakes here. I didn't have my position quite right. Looked like I was on it. My knock. Yeah, you really got to check the map. See, I want to get over here. Just within that little 
blue area there that's just a little bit lighter. Oop. It's actually kind of hard to get to. Almost there. Okay, that should be it. Alright. See, it looks about the same depth, but... I'll tell you, position can mean everything in this, this kind of competition. guess I was a little bit too excited. It's a little different when you're just fishing for fun than when you're competing. <laughs> oh, this is little. This is little. Man. <laughs> I tell you, this is not going as well as I'd hoped. to get out my salmon snake and go for salmon to get in a couple of them that are big there we go now they seem to be biting I tell you it seems to be purchased the thing they're just not going for that this time. Alright, well, we'll go with what the fish prefer. We want to get something bigger, so let's go with the salmon snake. The only reason I don't do the salmon snake is even though I get salmon with it, I get a lot of bluegill with it, too. <laughs> Not sure why that is, but I do. Kind of weird. There we go. A bit more significant. That was a pike. Cool. Cooking. See, the, all the difference could be just a matter of moving a tiny little bit. And there's our whitefish, finally. Huh, we got it with the salmon snake, too. That's funny. That's odd. But I'll take it. Looks like the whitefish are biting. There he is. You see that? Okay, now this. This is a lot better. See? Now we're getting some fish. Just had to find them. Sometimes you gotta look for them. It just blows my mind they're getting it on the salmon snake. I would have thought they'd go for the autumn leaves. Guess they just being particular. <laughs> Seems decent size too. Let's see what we got here. Yep. Getting a nice little pile of white fish here, guys. Gonna have us a fish fry. a little smaller still yeah 
I think what I'm going to do is after about 15 minutes, when it gets to 15 minutes, I'm going to go out to the deep water. And I'm going to try it there, only with the same lure that is. Only because I might be at some bigger ones. With the amount I've just caught this time, I don't really think I'll have to worry about... Oh, Crucian Carp. That's kind of odd. <laughs> Plus, I'm probably getting close to fishing this little hole out. Yeah, I must have hit a, a school. Yeah, whitefish do travel in schools. So they're going to all be roughly this size. So might be one or two big ones, but. Yeah, see? We're going to see if we can find some bigger bigger specimens in a different school. I know just where to go. Yeah, I think we about fished this out. Alright. Let's move to the new spot. Looks like some of these guys are already in my place. I hate when they do that. That's alright. I have another one. It's right over here. It doesn't look like anybody's drilled in here yet, so let's give it a shot. This is going to pretty much hit bottom. I'm surprised I didn't get a sturgeon. Every now and then you can get a sturgeon. Oop, forgot my trout jam. Alright, there we go. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you see that? It's like, wait a minute, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I was scooping out the slush, you little freaky fish. Whoa. Nice pike. That would be the biggest fish so far, I think. You you gotta give me a chance to be ready. <laughs> God. They are some ravenous fish, I'll tell you that. Well, once I get... There we go. Can't really tell how big this one is. Ah, another crucian carp. I think I need to come off the bottom a little bit more then. Because we're getting some bottom feeders here. Yeah, I know, I know. And I think I'm going to switch over, guys. Let's see. Is it this one? It's this one. The Green Goblin. Green Goblin I've had for quite a while, and whitefish love it. They absolutely love it. At least they usually do, anyway. And let me make sure the hook is right. Let's see, Africa doesn't really do much. I think the meteor is the one I want. There we go. Alright, and we're going to throw in a little bit more of this. Let's see. Is it the trout jam they like? Or the golden balls? I never can remember. I guess it doesn't really matter. 
We'll throw that in. Scoop that out. And see if we can't tr scare up some more whitefish here. The old green goblin. There we go. That's the one. Wow, that's a pretty good sized perch. Okay, I'll go a little bit deeper here. And I might move a little bit just to get... Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what this is. This isn't a white fish. We're going to move a little bit. Nope, there's our white fish. Very nice. Yeah, we'll just stick here then. Looks like we found them. Had to get the right bait and the right depth. Yeah, you gotta play around a little bit, experiment a little bit. Go to your good spots. They shouldn't change, but they may change based on the time of year and the time of day. You gotta, it's sometimes kind of difficult to remember that. There we go. That was a pretty good hit. Whoa, nice perch. Damn. I am so glad he counts. <laughs> oh, he did it to me again. <laughs> bring this up just a little we're gonna we don't have time to move spots but we can move depths and see if we can't get something different might get a Xander up this this level they come pretty good size here too and of course he bites when I'm scooping Well, it is a whitefish. We got a little bit more time here, but not much, guys. We don't want to push our luck. But we'll fish for about another minute. And then we got to go in because... No, we're not nearly as far from the starting point in this lake like we were some of the others. Yeah, I think we're... Nope, there he is. He isn't huge, but he's going to add to the pile. There we go. Looks like the perch been hot today, I'll tell you. Perch have been hot today, and I need to get my butt out of here. Night pronto. Yeah, see, I'm not very far. Not very far at all. There are some knuckleheads that wait a lot longer than I do. <laughs> All right, there we are, guys. I will pause it, and then when I get close to the time, I'll bring you back. All right, guys, this is it. This is it. Did we win? One last person waiting the last second. Oh, seriously? Seriously? Elisa Kovanen. I'll be darned. I got the biggest fish, but not the most of total weight. Son of a gun. 
Son of a gun. I probably should have stayed where I was. I was getting a lot more fish there. I was getting greedy. Dang on it. Well, you know, I got to tip my hat. At least I came in second. I still got 1,150 gold coins, so I'm not complaining there. Well, you can't win them all, guys. At least I came in second. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. So until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.